In this video, we will introduce the concept of quotients and remainders. The motivating question behind these topics is, how many times does a natural number b go into another natural number a? The answer to this question is called the quotient. To find the quotient, we repeatedly subtract b from a and stop before the answer becomes negative. The number of subtractions that we computed is called the quotient, and the number that is left over at the very end is called the remainder. This process of finding quotients and remainders is called the division of A by B. To illustrate this with an example, let's find the quotient and the remainder for the division of A equals 15 with B equals 5. Since 15 is bigger than 5, we can compute one subtraction to get 15 minus 5, which is equal to 10. Since 10 is also bigger than 5, we can compute a second subtraction to get 10 minus 5, which is equal to 5. Finally, we can compute one more subtraction to get 5 minus 5, which is equal to 0. Remember that 0 is neither positive or negative, so this subtraction is valid. We have to stop here since if we tried to subtract 5 from 0, we would get a negative answer. So, to find the quotient, we count the number of subtractions we use to get to this point, which is 3. So the quotient is 3. The number at the very end of this list, 0, is known as the remainder. So, the division of 15 by 5 is 3 with remainder 0. Let's do another example by computing the division of 11 by 4. Since 11 is bigger than 4, we can compute one subtraction to get 11 minus 4, which is equal to 7. Since 7 is bigger than 4, we can compute another subtraction to get 7 minus 4, which is equal to 3. Since 3 is less than 4, if we compute another subtraction, the answer will go negative. So, we stop, and to find the quotient, we count the number of subtractions we performed, which is 2. So, the quotient is 2. The number left over at the very end of our list is 3, which is the remainder. So, the division of 11 by 4 is 2, with remainder 3. Using the idea of quotients and remainders, we can officially define division. The division of a by b can be summarized in the equation a is equal to q times b plus r, where q is the quotient and r is the remainder. In the first example in the previous slide, when computing the division of 15 by 5, we computed the quotient of 3 and the remainder of 0. So, using our new definition of division, we can write 15 is equal to 3 times 5 plus 0. Similarly, for the division of 11 by 4, we computed the quotient of 2 and a remainder of 3. Using our new definition for division, we can write 11 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 3. We'll conclude this video by making an important note about the remainder. When dividing a by b, we write a is equal to q times b plus r, but there are only certain values that the remainder r can have. The remainder r will always be bigger than or equal to zero, but must always be less than the number that we are dividing by, which in our case is b. Formally, we can write the compound statement zero is less than or equal to r is less than b. The values for the remainder r must always fall within this range. So, when computing division by hand, if you get a remainder that is outside of this range, go back and check your work carefully.